But one of the most inspiring things about kids is their positive attitudes in the face of adversity. Tonight, we share with you the story of Cookie. This Wauwatosa girl is just entering her teen years, but as Courtney Gary shows us, she's already fought the battle of a lifetime. 13-year-old Cookie Top is a great shot on the basketball court. I like to play basketball and volleyball and play with my friends. And these days, she doesn't take her time on the hard court for granted. <laughs> Cookie was diagnosed with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma in the summer of 2012. I didn't really know what to expect out of it, so I, I think that was a good way to go through it when I just didn't really know what was in front of me. Doctors told Cookie's parents, Linda and Dan, her particular lymphoma is incredibly rare in children. They've never seen it at our children's hospital. This is the first case when, when it's seen, it's seen in, in men between 50 and 60 years old. But that didn't phase Cookie, who's earned the nickname One Tough Cookie over the years. Nothing seems to phase her. She tends to go with the flow and it's very even tempered. Doctors got to work right away, collaborating with other experts from around the world to figure out the best treatment. And the one doctor even took the information and presented it at a seminar in Italy. And so even went international looking for feedback and insight. It was scary in the beginning when more pathology kept coming back, you know, greater level of detail. Cookie went through six tough rounds of chemo and spent weeks at a time at Children's Hospital. This is a transplant bean. She has these beads of courage as a reminder of all those treatments. Ones with the bumps are like called bumps in the road. So if like you've gotten admitted like a with a fever or something, you'd get this. Doctors decided Cookie's best chance at a cure would be a bone marrow transplant. Luckily, her big sister Annie was a perfect match. Awesome that she was willing to do that for me. That procedure was a success. I just, it's just like really reassuring. I'm just glad that I was able to do it for her. Something that I could do for her to help her get better. And I was glad I could do it. The community has banded together in support of the top family as well. After her transplant, neighbors lined every tree from the hospital to Cookie's house with a green ribbon so she could find her way home. Unbelievably proud of her. It uh, gets me choked up though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot to be proud of. The family is also thankful for the MAC Fund and hopes their story inspires others who are facing a life-threatening diagnosis. I think they're great. They helped me throughout this whole process. That we are sitting here today in, with this aggressive cancer in a state of remission, we are so blessed. And we are praying for more blessings. You can read more about Cookie and her brave battle on her Caring Bridge website. There's a link on today's TMJ4.com website. 